we're back. So, um, yes, we're doing I'm a here. quest southeast. So we're gonna go Magrin's Fork, and I guess it's gonna be east here. Four hours, sure. Let's see if we can find a quest that we're actually able to, you know, complete. And if the fight yes, are quick and quiet. Way too hard. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not. Let's see now. Information is this: I got Adair and the tall girl here, Azur. Yes. Okay. Then this looks like this is what I want. Oh, wolf. Let's set everybody in uh, ranged mode, and let's see if. Uh, nah. We don't have like a paralysis thing. Nah. Just to freeze that one in place. Hey. Well, it looks this guy here. Okay. Well. Yeah. Do this to the wolf, and you. Have you shot? I think she has, but Azur, yes, she has, okay. Go to LA, attack this dude. You, a deer. Yes, 1919. These are pretty good damage, you know. They took a while to wind up and attack. How may I help? Ah, like birds and rough! Yes. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Die, hmm? monster. Die. Keeping an eye out. Keeping an eye out, yeah, man. Oh, another wolf. Hmm. Okay, everybody attack this thing. How may I help? Hmm, you are going to cast this thing, uh, wait, what's the radius, 7 meters? No, 3.5, okay. So the radius is 3.5, which is about from here to here. So there. Ah, thank birth and rough! Nice! I'll just keep hitting them from a distance. Azur, Azur, Azur has not shot yet, but he has, so uh, let's switch him to this, and uh, tumble. Just say the word. There you go, Wolfie. Just. Okay, you, you can switch back to this. Say the word. Everybody get back to this. Look at that. OP. Well, not really, but just two wolves. You know, in real life, you got four well-armed people. Two wolves. Nice and quiet. No problem. Okay, so where are we headed? Southeast. So we should head on, head on east from here. Let's see if there's herbs or things. I actually like to explore the entire maps whenever I can. So, um, oh, there's a dude here. Hello, dude. What you doing here? Ah, oh, hello there. Begging your pardon, but you gave me good fright. I thought I heard something rustling through the brush. I suppose that it was just you, silly of me. Don't suppose you happen to need some supplies? I thought I'd make my way over to Maddemore Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'd be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folk together. Folks together. I think you, yeah, better say than sorry, right? Say, did you hear something? Oh, we got Wolfie's more. Uh, hmm. Okay. Can you do your thing, yo, dude? About here? Whereas you can go to this and attack that. And you. Now, 
is there a way for me to tell my dudes to like, okay, you should do that, but a bit further away, like that, out there. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if there's a way to for me to actually tell my dudes to like stand still and attacking. Okay, you can switch to melee. And everybody can attack that thing. <laughs> she have any special actions? Oh, she's got the frenzy thing, which is not that useful. You switch to this and uh, slam that uh, thing to the ground. You can slicken. Yeah, I like this. Uh, slicken is 3.5 radius. 3.5 radius from here. 3.5 radius from here. How may I help? What these are, okay. Just say the word. Hey there, you're standing in the slick spot. It doesn't look like it's. Just say the word. Rough. There should be some wolves that are not doing well. Okay, you need to use your thing here on. Yeah, on. How may I help? Stay strong. Oh, no! Don't use it. Okay, do something else, like uh, you know, like pray to your god or something. Yes. Oh, he's an enemy now. Okay, we don't. Okay. Yeah, I want to reload this. I didn't want to make this guy an enemy. He probably has good stuff. Sorry about that. A dude here who could be some help, and they won't. Okay. Yes? Yes? That's also decent information if you want to be closer. Uh, okay, so... Um, where's the wolves? And the better part of the valor. Maybe if we go around them or something. Hidden something in Let's see what we saw found. you in the flames. Fleet feet. Okay, I suppose that's good. Uh, there's a dude talking here. Oh, that's Jurens. There you go. Squatting at the base of this statue is an incredibly ugly man. With bulging red cheeks raked by punk scars and scraggly beard. He is sweating as if he has a fever, but his breathing is measured and steady like a slow push of a blacksmith's bellows. But that comparison feels strange and unwelcome. The next comparison possibly sparked by his grin is that of a bear trap, and then out of nowhere there is the hint of alchemical fire that fades almost as soon as you identify this. Come to pray at the statue? No, the statue is in flame. The question mark is barely there. As the man makes the statement, the statue takes on a reddish cast as if one is holding a torch to it, then slowly blossoms into waving flames. The man doesn't turn as the statue blossoms The others are welcome, but it's best if just you and I trade words. And your shadows stay quiet. Hands off their weapons, both arcade and steel. It's only you I want to trade words with anyway. Huh. 
I swear before the whore that is Margaret, no harm will come to you in her shadow. If that's enough of a promise for you. If not... Hmm, okay, examine the statue. The weaving firelight from the statue gives off no heat, but so much so you wonder if it is a trick of the mind. The ugly man before you doesn't seem to notice it or feel it. Although the sheen on his brow is still brow brow still present as if he's burning up from within. The staff looks thick, stout, of a blackened ash, once burned by a terrible fire. Beneath the ash, the lines in the wood appear, bear shapes and patterns. Okay, ash as in burnt wood, not ash as in the kind of wood, which, you know. Uh, bear shapes and patterns, and there is certainty the staff was once something far more dangerous. But not now. As you study it deeper, it shimmers slightly in your eyes like water catching the light weaving across the statue. Whatever power is bled off from the staff was bled from the staff. It doesn't make it or the wielder any less, less dangerous. You look up to see the man watching you studying the staff. As his gaze meets yours, he nods with a humorless smile. I didn't I give it. You probably find names as useless as I do. The names that litter this world like debris are hard enough to wrap around the tongue. And what do they matter? Yeah, what do they matter indeed? Well, you know, I'd like to call you something. It's what's beneath the skin in the letters I care about. What burns within. It's more important to me you're a watcher than whatever culture or accent decorates your letters like awkward crowns. Take pride in your actions, not where you hail from. Or how your name rolls off whatever liar's tongue coats it now. Ho, ho. If you need a title to hang on me to match your own watcher, then call me Durance. And as you observe souls, I test them. Interesting, even though I find this guy pretty verbose, pretty long-winded. How did you know I was a watcher? Durant shakes his head and his hand curls tightly on his staff. I can see the questions bubbling up. Let's burn them away one by one. Okay. So I guess we're... Um... I am a missionary. I walk this diseased nation with its heathen, its people so careless with the spirits of others and their own. Watchers among them. Yes. I know you for what you are, and your name doesn't interest me. Names are for honest folk, and you are a crack that shines light from... another place. That makes me dishonest, does it? We're meant to travel together, you and I. Oh. Saw you in the flames. Not your face, but that soul of yours. All tightened up, like a huntsman's knot. There's things we can teach each other, if you're in need of answers to your mantle of questions. Well, yeah. I don't force my words on anyone other than you. I don't care who walks with you or what their mewling problems and politics are. There's enough howling in the world without me stoking that fire. I won't take from your provisions, don't need much on the road. I can carry my weight, which is considerable. Okay. Many will stand against you. They probably already have, from what I can see. Left their marks, it seems. Like a trail, worming its way behind you. Company would be well. Then known. let us yeah. walk together, Watcher. There you go. This guy's a priest, obviously. 